you are taking a responsible position on the debt ceiling. You know that ultimately we have to pay these bills that have already been incurred. But I, I'm not sure that all your colleagues in the House share that and that we could go off the cliff this time. And what would be the consequences if we do? To be honest, I don't think that's a fair assessment. I, I think in, in my conversations with my colleagues across the spectrum, I think they understand uh, the severity of this. I think they understand uh, the consequences of default. Uh, the speaker has been very clear on this. Have you talked to but Paul Gosar about this? <laughs> I, I've, I've talked to a broad swath, including in the House Freedom Caucus, and, and they understand. But the bottom line is most spending reforms over, over the last many decades have been tied to the debt ceiling increase. And that, and that is a tool that Congress has here in the negotiation. And when you only control, you know, one half of one third of the government, uh, you have to use the tools at your disposal effectively, um, but responsibly. And the bottom line is, uh, as I've said repeatedly, we will raise the debt ceiling. Um, and I think uh, that should not be uh, in doubt, but the president needs to negotiate in good faith.